Hello! So we have a badly drawn Repton uh, presenting level F completed for us and now we're going to see how it was made. So here's the basic idea I had to start off with. I say basic idea, it takes up quite a bit of the level, um, but this is the general idea. Um, you don't want to collect the keys to start off with, because if you collect the key, then the boulder will roll off those uh, safes in the middle and, and block the time bomb. So we can actually have a look and see um, how the level is supposed to play out, and I did this to, to test that the level would actually play out the way I um, hoped it would. So uh, here we go. So obviously you have to move out of the way quickly to start off with because the uh, spirit's coming around to say hello to us. And then uh, yeah, we can push that in in place there. Get rid of this uh, diamond now so that this boulder will fall down the correct way. Um, but before we uh, actually collect the key, we have to collect the crown uh, so that uh, you know when this does fall, it doesn't fall on the crown instead. Mm -hmm. So here checking, yep, it's fallen the correct way, and then we're just going to pick up the uh, diamonds and, and, and complete the level. So there we go, that's the level. <laughs> no, not quite. Um, so yeah, we're going to add more to the, the level here, but that's the general idea of what we want to do for that uh, middle part there. So yeah, just uh, putting a, a bit of a, a fence around the whole thing here, just to, to separate the area off and uh, make sure we can't accidentally drop any more boulders into this area. And yeah, the key has to move now, because otherwise the uh, spirit would uh, be able to latch onto the edge there. No, we don't want to put keys down, we want to put walls down. And yeah, it's just setting up the way that the level could look here. And we're going to get the boulder from somewhere else, um, probably up here somewhere. And then drop it down. And just temporarily put some uh, dirt in there just so that it's got something to, to fall onto. So the level works at the moment. <coughs> and just changing up the, uh, <laughs> the pattern of the wall here. making kind of doubly sure there's no way to get any more, more uh, rocks into this area. And the key now is going down here. Popped a few uh, diamonds around to like entice you to to take them. I don't think this is the way that the the level actually ended up. Cause I think it causes problems. Yeah, I'm just showing here that then now the the spirit can get to the outside here, so uh, we kind of don't want that. So we do that there. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get rid of some of this stuff from this side as well. <laughs> and <laughs> apparently there, there's a problem there too. Oh yeah, because I'm blocking off that area, so uh, yeah, when the, the boulder drops down, it's not going to cause any problems, so I can't have that there. I'm just trying to make the level look interesting. Just trying to, to pretty it up a bit. But I can't do anything in this area, so that, that, that's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll do something somewhere else.
and I had a little idea here to set up uh, a thing so that you'd be able to let a spirit into this area but you wouldn't be able to go into the area yourself so I just need to set up a something with some with a diamond and a rock here or maybe not a diamond maybe maybe a skull because you don't want to be able to just go down and collect it so it's not complete yes but uh, that's kind of trying to block you off from going straight down into that area so the spirits up there to start off with and then it uh, needs to come downwards Just adding a bit of decoration there at the moment. It's not quite how the, the level ends up. And yeah, realize the problem here. We have to block that off as well. So that now you can't go down there without uh, either blocking your path or um, getting hit by the, the rock. And I've also had an idea for this area here. Obviously trying to get my idea down on the, the screen, the map, whatever. <laughs> Not down on paper, that doesn't work here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's not quite the way I wanted this to, to work, so let's try something else. Okay, so let's block off this area here. So the whole idea for this is to, you want to be able to get that rock out of this area so you can connect the uh, spirit to the cage in the middle. So I'm going to pop a cage somewhere. Apparently there, but I don't think it's going to work there. Not we're really getting rid of that. We'll pop it there instead. So, what we're going to have in this area, we're going to have a spirit that's going to be able to to get out, and you have to direct it obviously to one of the cages. Um, initially, the, when the spirit gets out, it's going to try and go to the the one on the uh, left there, and uh, then you aren't going to be able to push the the boulder out of this side of the level. So, what you want to do is kind of block off that cage, let the spirit go around and uh, go into the other cage and then you can get the uh, boulder down and then out of the uh, the area. So yeah, it's just a, a little setup here so yeah we can only get one of the um, spirits out of here at the moment. And we put a safe there so you know we can't just collect the key and then let both of them out because obviously if you collect the key then the uh, boulder's going to fall down and block off the time bomb. Uh, yes, yeah, this is me doing some figuring out about if I let that spirit out of there where would it wander to I think. Um, but uh, this is trying to make this a bit more uh, of an interesting area. So if I do things correctly, I can get the boulder out of here, but then, hmm, what can I do then? I can make it a little bit more tricky by needing you to push the boulder back into the area. 
So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm still thinking about how I want to do that. No, you can't put a diamond there. I think it's maybe just to, uh, yeah, for a visual more than anything else. So we want to transport here. Let's put that there. That leads into this area, which we've now got blocked off over here. And it's kind of blocked off so that uh, you know we can't accidentally drop any boulders down from that area and, and mess up the puzzle. Making it look a bit fancy at the moment. There we go, let's get back to some uh, actual level um, designing, not fancy. <laughs> And of course, this is a easy way to make this look scary. Put some boulders over there so you don't want to drop them down into the little uh, corridors at the side. And I had a better idea of what to do up here. Have some boulders here, so you have to worry about what's uh, what's happening when you're letting the spirit out. And yeah, I had a better idea of what to do over here as well. Oh yeah, this is so that you. Uh, push the uh, boulder back into this area here. I'm putting a safe there just so that obviously we can't uh, do this straight away. Not liking the way it was set up obviously. Let's uh, do this differently. Yeah, give ourselves a little bit more space to work with here. So yeah, that diamond there, very useful. When we push the uh, boulder back through here, it needs to roll off there so that we can get it uh, down into the hole. Where are we putting this? Not up there. There we go, yeah. Just add some decoration. Okay, so I've kind of had an idea for this area here. What I'll have is uh, that you can kind of go in a a path um, around the, the bottom part of the level. So we have the same setup here, it's just, just a little bit higher up. And yeah, this is a, a one way route here. So you have to go in the one side and then uh, out that one. And let's make it a safe just because, just so you can't do this immediately, no real reason for it, just adds to the interest of the thing. Mm -hmm. 
happening? <laughs> and there's Repton presenting the final level again. And we'll see it gets to this state uh, next time.